That's definitely the coolest power supply that you can have on your desk right now. Hey guys, there is something on my desk that's gonna spark an envy in many of you. Mostly because, uh, let's face it, we all fight for the space to carry on with our projects, tinker around, so that space is always at premium. So having all your lab equipment like oscilloscopes, power supplies, etc, well, it takes a lot of space. So no wonder that anyone that sees MDP-XP, which is a mini worst take on the miniature digital power supply, well, it just sparks envy in them. And I'm fortunate to have another module released recently by Miniware. This time it is MDP M906, which is an improvement to the previous module I covered in my video uh, covering this device. In my original review, I've outlined the limitations of that device, and I was complaining mainly about not supporting the USB Type C PD charging protocol. And this changes. It's not the only change, however, because now we have a much more powerful unit to put on our desk and use it in a solo mode or paired up to the main display control unit and used up to six channels all together as a single combined unit. It looks really, really well. You'll see that the unit is much thicker. Mostly it's to accommodate the built-in fan, which now cools the device because it's capable of actually producing up to 300 watts. It's a lot of power from a device this small. Now it supports the Quick Charge 3.0 and USB Type-C PD, so you'll be able to use your regular phone charger to actually start working with it. And it's not just phone chargers, because you can still use the compatible power banks and get your voltage amplified to a 30 volt maximum. If you're not a big fan of using chargers to supply the current, you can also use the barrel jack and expand the ways you supply the power to the uh, module in different ways. And just like before, you can use it in a standalone mode or you can pair it to the wireless display, which has a couple of meters of range and you'll be able to actually control the unit from far away. In line with other modules, it is stackable, so it makes a beautiful stack that it will take absolutely no space whatsoever on your desk and allow you to tinker with your favorite projects. And this is perfect for me because I hardly ever go above 24 volts because, well, that's the usual uh, top for the electronics. So if this is you and that's uh, your needs, then, well, you definitely want to take a look at that. As this is a much shorter video, I'm not going to cover all of the features that come with an MDP power station, so you probably want to check out this video which covers this all, but I'm going to focus on two shortcomings that I discovered in my time with the MDP M906. My first criticism is in line with my original review, which, well, links to the connectivity. Now, the device is using 2.4 GHz network to actually link different units and display real-time data on the control unit. However, the range for this, it's not impressive. It's only a couple of meters and, well, while still fancy and you'll be able to control your several units from different points in a room, you can't really go to town and control it from a different room, which is slightly disappointing. The second disadvantage is that the device won't properly display the device type to certain chargers. Now, I've connected it to an Anker charger, which has the ability to discover whether the phone supports quick charge or USB type CPD and apply correct charging protocol. It's one of those smart, fancy chargers. You can take a look in this video. It's more about it there. So, what happened when I connected it to my power supply or to my module power supply? Absolutely nothing. It couldn't really assign the protocol and it resulted with no charge whatsoever. It does work with a quick charge, which I verified, and the USB Type-C PD separately, so if your charger isn't one of those small multi-protocol chargers, you'll be just fine. And that's pretty much all the criticism I've got about this unit, because it's brilliant. Well, it is a little bit expensive, because you're expected to pay over 130 pounds for the module itself and extra for the control unit, so it's definitely not the cheapest power supply out there. And if you're on a budget, then you probably want to sacrifice your space on the desk and get something cheaper. 
However, bear in mind that this is a part of a module series and Miniware is going to release at some point, I don't have the details in terms of when, additional units so you could build up your own stack. And those are going to include the digital uh, signal generator, electronic load, power charger and the battery that you can actually use this equipment without plugging it in, which would make it really, really awesome. So, if you are interested, I'm going to include the links to the article that tells you a little bit more about this device and the links so you could purchase one for yourself. And before I say my goodbyes, don't switch off just yet, because if you want to know what is the next soldering iron from Minuet, I'm going to have a very early access to the an interesting proposal. So, with that said, I do not have a posting schedule, so if you want to watch this or know what's next and you know how YouTube works, I'm not going to explain all of that. I've got a couple of social media listed down below so do follow me on any of them of your more favorite types and uh, let's keep the conversation going. As for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.